The people set to run in the Boston Marathon, and of course, every single one of them has a story. For one young man, it started by losing nearly everything in a war zone halfway across the globe. WBZ's Chris McKinnon shows us how the Red Cross became a beacon for his life in America. I was in hospital for, for six months alone. And then that's kind of like where my journey started to come to America. <laughs> Today, he's a son of two loving parents in Worcester, studying international relations at Brandeis University. But St. Cyr de Manche traveled a long and difficult road to get here. After losing his mother during childbirth and his father to the hands of rebels at the age of 14, St. Cyr escaped the Central African Republic to Cameroon. He supported himself, hauling cement for $1.80 for 12 hours of hard work until it was too much for the boy. While he was in the hospital, a visit from an American couple on a social service mission started the process that would bring him to the U.S. St. Cyr was 17 when he arrived in Boston. Bob and Ann Bureau were waiting for him. He came to the baggage claim and you know, st I started crying and uh, I just went up to him and hugged him. We called him our son from the first moment we met him. It was exciting. It was very hopeful that I was able to make to America and see them, but at the same time, we don't have any communication at all. St. Cyr and his new family had no common language. We used our iPhones to translate. They also found a translator and began to build a life together. It was very hard to go back to school, but it also was very hard that I, I started with a different language, with this English. That was a huge challenge for me. Challenge accepted and met. He graduated from high school and is in his second year at Brandeis. Along the way, he started running. I really enjoy running outside there. There are so many nice people out there. St. Cyr entered the Lehigh Marathon last fall, hoping to qualify for the Boston Marathon. I know I can be able to qualify based on all the hard training I do over the summer, but uh, there is a train that oh. comes that stops. He was stuck behind the train for almost 10 minutes, ending his dream. But a donation from an anonymous friend at Brandeis made it possible for St. Cyr to join the Red Cross charity team. I kind of like know American Red Cross before I come to the United States. Right in this moment, I know some of them may be helping some of my people. He says the hills of Newton aren't that intimidating if you've trained on the Worcester Hills. And 26.2 miles isn't that great a distance when you've come as far as this young man has. I would say he's the most resilient person I've ever met. He's accomplished so much, but I'm so pr happy that he's happy. I never worry. I just looking forward. Ah, oh, here we'll be cheering for you. Great story. WBZ, proud to be the only local station bringing you live wire-to-wire -wire coverage of the marathon. It starts on Monday, April 17th, 7 o'clock in the morning, right after WBZ this morning. And 